In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Done well for herself over the years in the spotlight, which includes living in some beautiful homes. While her first residence was a luxury condo in Nashville, these days Jules is sitting pretty in a Hollywood Hills mansion worth millions, and it's definitely her dream home. Julianne Huff is an American dancer, actress, and singer who's best known for being a core part of ABC's hit series, Dancing with the Stars. Julianne began her formal training as a dancer when she joined the Center Stage Performing Arts Studio and took to dancing competitively at the age of nine. By the following year, her parents would divorce, which led to Julianne and her brother Derek, also a dancer, moving to London to study the craft overseas. By 2006, Julianne was finally getting an opportunity to perform on a massive stage when she appeared on the ABC game show Show Me the Money as a Million Dollar Dancer. After making an impression with ABC execs on that series, Julianne would be invited to take part in Dancing with the Stars, where she won back-to-back -back seasons before acting as a guest judge in 2013 and finally joining the show on a permanent basis in 2014. It was shortly after winning the whole shebang for the second time that Julianne decided to reward herself by picking up her very first home, a stunning condo in Nashville, Tennessee. Julianne would live in this unit until she was brought back to Dancing with the Stars full time in 2014. At that point, she knew she needed to find a place with a friendlier commute, so she sold the condo and found her dream home in the Hollywood Hills, a place which she still lives in to this day. Most recently, there have also been rumors circulating that Julianne might have found herself a place in New York City as well, as surprised her mom with a house of her very own. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And in this one, we're checking out where Julianne Huff calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In the summer of 2009, Julianne made the decision to cough up around $650,000 for a two-bedroom and two-bathroom luxury condo located on the eighth floor of a building situated in the heart of Nashville. When she moved in, Julianne was far from the first big-time celeb to lease a place here. In fact, pop music sensation Taylor Swift had already beaten her to it and was living in the building's duplex penthouse. But as far as Julianne's home goes, the open floor plan and strikingly modern look no doubt had some awesome obvious appeal for the young woman when she moved in, while amenities, like the long rooftop pool, would have offered relief from those sweltering hot Nashville summers. Julianne's kitchen and living room combo offered her all of the necessary space to whip up some perfect meals, while also giving her the opportunity to take advantage of those city views at the same time. As for a bedroom, well it was kinda tiny, but it did include a balcony to overlook the midtown neighborhood just below her. It's unclear exactly how much time Julianne actually spent here. After all, she was in a very high profile relationship with Ryan Seacrest throughout the most of the years that she owned the place. Around 2013 is when these two hit a rough patch. Shortly thereafter is when Julianne decided to sell this home for $900,000 and find her own place in Los Angeles. Well, kind of. After signing on to become a full time cast member of Dancing with the Stars and ending her relationship with Ryan Seacrest, Julianne was at a crossroad in her life. So, what did she end up doing? Well, well, she found herself a stunning home in the Hollywood Hills and moved right in. Somewhat interestingly, there are rumors that it wasn't Julianne who bought this nearly $2 million home for herself, but Ryan Seacrest instead. Online reports suggest that after splitting from Ryan, the world famous media mogul bought this home for his former flame as something of a parting gift. First built in 1936 and well situated for celebrity style privacy, this property offers a quarter acre of hillside land at the tail end end of a dead-end lane in Hollywood Hills. And while the home might appear humble from the outside, it manages to fit a lot in, including four bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms in only 2,101 square feet of space. Out front, a compact red brick motor court and two-car garage provide secure off-street parking for up to four cars, which is apparently a very rare commodity for the Hollywood Hills area. The front of the home features two nearly identical diamond pane doors that sit not far from one another, 
doors. Not every day you see a home with two front doors so awkwardly spaced out. Although one assumes that one of these two, probably the one on the right, used to function as a service entrance. Inside, dark floors run throughout the home and into the step down living room alongside the adjoining dining room. A fireplace located towards the back of the living room faces some French doors that lead out to a small deck with big views of the nearby canyon. Beyond the dining room is the kitchen, which has been fitted with a chunky center island, as well as antique white cabinetry and a thickly veined marble countertop and white backsplash. As for those high grade stainless steel appliances, you already know that's a must. Upstairs is a bedroom with some further French doors that open up to a wrought ironed railed balcony that must have Julianne feeling more of like Juliet. As for the moderately sized master bedroom, well, it features ample windows and a modest bathroom with a marble top double sink vanity and a marble lined combination tub and shower. Moving to the backyard, Julianne's home is surrounded by trees. There's also a swimming pool that's somewhat questionably anchored by a freestanding outdoor fireplace to think of it that's probably why she got rid of it during her redesign. After moving into this home in the early 2010s, Julianne was set to work sprucing the place up to better suit her style and needs. Julianne says she first developed a passion for design as a child in Utah when she would think up new ways of configuring her bedroom. Now she gets to do that on a much bigger scale. Working with architect Steve Wunderlich and interior designer Jake Arnold, Julianne would cultivate her space into something truly gorgeous. For instance, she decked out her entire bottom floor in earth tones and raw wood textiles. The living room now includes a vintage rug, an almost rusty looking metal table, tons of reclaimed wood, and an armchair covered in linen. Meanwhile, over in the kitchen, Julianne installed some glass front cabinets that are backless and appear to simply float there on the wall. And with it hanging just below the ceiling like that, it actually makes the ceiling seem higher than it is. There's also a library ladder nearby that keeps everything within reach. Julianne further perfected her breakfast nook by turning it into an informal and intimate space that boasts floor to ceiling cabinetry, as well as a pedestal table and bistro chairs. And in her master suite, Julianne installed neutral tones, while her bed itself has a cream cushioned headboard with white sheets beside a marble bedside table. Last year, a video began making the rounds online, showing Julianne surprising her mother with her very own home. Well, it turns out that Julianne surprised her mom on Mother's Day with this wonderful looking and adorable adorable house. Where it's located, it's obviously being kept under tight wrap. Considering Julianne lives in the Hollywood Hills, I doubt that it's too far from there. Then again, it also sounds like Julianne might be spending more time on the East Coast soon, because reports, while well, they suggest that she's also signed a lease to rent a triplex townhouse for $18,000 a month in New York City. The townhouse, with its beautifully preserved and restored turn of the century craftsmanship, is located steps away from Washington Square Park and apparently only on the market for 21 days. It also boasts original wood floors, a living room fireplace, 12 foot ceilings, and a gourmet kitchen equipped with stunning finishes. Well, now that she's moved on from Dancing with the Stars, she's set to appear here on Broadway in a production titled POTUS. In other words, it's unlikely she's abandoned her home in the Hollywood Hills. It sounds like this new townhouse is simply a loner for the length of however long this production winds up running for. So there you have it. That completes our Julianne Huff House tour. What did you guys think of her homes? Do you have a personal favorite? If so, why? Be sure to leave your thoughts down below and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching. Give me a follow on Instagram to connect and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.